Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed today to be bringing God's truth to you. Praise God. Woo, we've had an amazing week so far. Ah, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I know today is not going to be an exception. He's increasing the blessing. He's increasing the temple. So I want you to be ready in your heart. Can we call for that daily bread right now? Because a miracle is about to happen in someone's life. Join me in faith right now. Say, Father, I demand right now my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Miracle is taking place in your life. Miracles of provision. Miracles. Hey, remember. Go and read Psalm 103. Meditate on it. Meditate on it. Meditate on it. All his benefits. Meditate on it until it becomes real to you. You have no excuse not to be blessed. Someone say, oh, I wish God can just give me a job. That kind of job that will solve all my problems. Brothers and sisters, you don't need a job for your problems to be solved. That is the truth. It's good to work. It's good to be busy doing something. But see, I tell you this truth. God values you more than that. You don't need a job for your problems to be solved. Please clear that out of your mind. You know, people have a hard time believing God. And I know sometimes pastors have not told you the truth concerning this. Because, you see, they fear. Some of them don't know. I remember one time I was arguing with a pastor. He said, you know, I was sharing something. I'm like, ah. So they were like, why don't pastors share these things? See that they are hiding it. And I said, the truth is, I've come to that conclusion that they don't know it. The person, why did you say that? Don't you think they are holding it? I said, no. See, there are things you know from God's word that you cannot hold. You can't. See, the, the, the truth of God, the, a revelation and light is a driving force. When you find it, you want to tell the whole world about it. So if they are not teaching it, then they don't know it. Now, the fact that one has experienced one testimony before, doesn't mean he has known the truth about something. Jesus said, you must continue in his word. You must continue in his word. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. See, first, you come to him. Next, you continue in his word. Now, you, the continuing in his word is what makes you a disciple of Jesus Christ. So now that you are a disciple, you still don't know the truth. You've had testimonies yet, but you still don't know the truth. It is when you continue. Now, what does it mean continue? You see it, you meditate on it, you ask questions. Why did it happen this way? What does God think about this? You see, now that's how you come to the knowledge of truth. And when truth comes to you, it brings liberty. Liberty from what? Everything that I've held you bound, especially in your mind. That's where the challenge is most times. It's in the mind. So you have people who just feel, look, God can never bless you until you're doing something. Lies. That is a big lie. Now, when I mean doing something, you know, you, you've got to so they say, go look for a job. Now, many people have gone look, looking for a job without even finding out from the Lord what he would have them do. Many people have, have contaminated the ministry that God called them into because they have heard people say, you need something to support the work that God has given to you. What a big lie. You know, sometimes people want to run faster than God. You know, we, we live in that jet age. So everybody wants to be fast. Now, let me tell you this truth. <laughs> let me just show you from the scripture. Psalm 127. 
Haliyam babaya Shaloko yeradi Haya ya 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 lama Shalom krote de kisapatai Watch this now Psalm 127 verse 1 now watch this, he says, unless the Lord builds the house, unless the Lord builds the house, that tells you something, that the Lord actually builds the house. So unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. So meaning people can build without the Lord. But then also the Lord builds. Are you following me? So the Lord builds. But then there are people who labor in vain without the Lord. So the fact that people are building shouldn't drive you crazy. What you should know or what you should desire to know is who's building it. Is it the Lord or themselves? If the Lord is not involved, they may build it. But guess what he says? They labor in vain. Now, do you know what it is to labor in vain? It means at the end of the day, you realize you shouldn't have bothered yourself. Because all that effort you put in there, you know, think about it. Just think about it. You know, imagine a man who's looking for money for his children's school fees. And then he goes around looking for where to borrow, he doesn't find. He goes around looking for what to do and, and trying to do everything. And then he now, um, he now um, gets himself entangled into stuff that he shouldn't entangle himself because he tells himself that, look, I need to raise this money. And all the while, I you know the children will come back from home and say, Daddy, the principal wants to see you. Hey, tell him I'm coming. Tell him I'm coming. Because he doesn't want to go to the school without the money. And he goes around and, and gathers and, and does all manner of things. Gets himself involved with things he shouldn't involve himself with. And then at the end of the day, he now gathers the money. With so much debt on him. And then he gets to the school. I said, yes, Mr. Principal. My children say you wanted to see me. Oh, yes, sir. Ah, why didn't you come since? Oh, no, I was busy, you know, because cause I didn't want to come to school without the school fees. So I was busy looking for the money. I, I did all this. I, was, I said, yeah, that's why I've been calling you. Because there's an organization that came and said they want to give scholarship to three families. And the school chose your family as one. So all your children's school fees have been paid for right now. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Look at me. You, you begin, he'll begin to think about all the silly things he's done. He'll begin to look at himself and say, what nonsense. You know what happened to him? He labored in vain. All that work he has done will become nothing. That's what he's saying here. Except the Lord is the one building. You're laboring in vain. Why would the Lord build a house? Because he loves. It's a demonstration of his love. Yeah. Now watch this. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchmen stay awake in vain. They are staying awake. But he says here that their staying awake will be in vain. Why? Because when the invaders come, their staying awake will help nothing. So you begin to wonder, you that employ them to watch over the city, like begin to wonder, what, what will you use? <laughs> you guys, of what use? Who should have left the gates open? Because, I mean, you being there didn't help anything. Why? Because the Lord was not involved. Thank you, Jesus. Now watch this. Verse 2. <laughs> it is I'm talking to you now who have been told God cannot bless you unless you are 
laboring, working, doing something. Watch this thing. This is this. I didn't write this now. Listen to this. Verse 2, Psalm 1 to 7. It is vain, useless for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrow. For so he gives his beloved sleep. What does it mean it's vain for you to rise up early? Think about how you rise up early and then sleep late. Think about how you spend all day. You don't even see your children. You left, you left the house before they woke up. By the time you get back, they are sleeping. You only see your children weekends. Some of you, even those weekends, have just for like a few hours. He says, it is vain to do that. And what do you get at the end of the day? Bread of sorrow. That's what he called it. Bread of sorrow. All these things you walk out very early and late. You must meet up. I must be traffic. I must do My job is far. I have to stay in this place because that's where I can afford rent. Then I have to travel one hour to the office. All those things. What for? No. Ah, this is the only job I have. I don't want them to fire me. To receive bread of sorrow. That's what he called the salary. Why did he say it is vain? That's why he said it is vain for you to do that. Why? He said because for God gives his beloved sleep. Now you will not understand this here until you check it out in the Amplified Translation. The Amplified says, It is vain for you to rise up early, to take rest late, to eat the bread of anxious toil. That's why I call it the bread of sorrow. Anxious toil. Now this money you're going to receive at the end of the month is the reward for all your toiling for that month. Think about it. Oh, you're waking up early, not seeing your children, not seeing your wife. You, you, you leave home very early, you come back home, you're so tired. All you want to do is to hit the bed and sleep. You've been doing this and now it's causing disaffection between you and your spouse. Your children are wondering what's going on. And then at the end, why are you doing this? Your wife tells you, can't you stay at home? Why should I stay at home? Do you want them to fire me? Ah. So I'm doing this so that I will get paid at the end of the month. So at the end of the month, you are giving that wage. It's called the bread of anxious toy. Why? Why is it vain? He said, for he gives, who is the he? God, your father who loves you. For he gives blessings to his beloved in sleep. God gives blessings to his beloved. Am I his beloved? Now that's the question you need to answer for yourself. Are you his beloved? Now if you are not his beloved, you're not part of what we're talking about. You're outside. Just You're just outside. <laughs> but if you are his beloved, how do I know I'm his beloved? Have you received his love? It's as simple as that. The beloved is the one that have received his love. Now the Bible says, for God so loved the world. You see? But then those who are his beloved are the ones who have received the love. So when they receive the love, they now, become, they now put themselves in the position to be loved. Now that's why it's called beloved. See that now? You put yourself in position to be loved. How? Did I hear God gave his only begotten son for me? Yes. Really? Yeah. So what do I need to do? Believe in him. That's all? All right. So what does he want me to believe? Now what are you doing? You're putting yourself in position to be loved. To, for that love to be expressed. Now that's the thing. Not the intention now. The intention is already clear. For... 
that love to be expressed in your life, you need to put yourself in the position to be loved. So now he says, God gives blessings to his beloved in sleep. So I toil every day, and yet there are folks who wake up every day and they say, Father, I receive today's daily bread, just like we do on this broadcast. I receive today's daily bread in Jesus' name. And I look at this guy, he's not walking, he, he's just, you know, just serving the Lord in his own way. He has never owed house rent, he has never been behind where bills are concerned. He, he's always... One is walking in vain. One is allowing the Lord to give him blessings. Maybe this is not clear enough to you. Let me look for another translation. I'll go to the CEV, Contemporary English Version. Watch this. Verse 2, it is useless. <laughs> I didn't write this. I came to discover it like some of you are discovering it right now. It is useless to get up early and stay up late in order to earn a living. How can God say this? You know, some people are getting angry right now. No, this shouldn't have been in the Bible because it's going to make people lazy. It's going to make people this. It's going to make people that. Well, it's too late. Your, your anger is too late. I'm sorry. God is bigger than you. So instead of getting angry at the people, why don't you relax, repent, and believe God for yourself? Because God is bigger than you. Do you know why he did it that way? You don't even know. So relax. So watch this now. It is useless to get up early. Now this is the CEV. Check your own track. On your phone, you can download it if you don't have it. Praise <laughs> God. It is useless to get up early and stay up late in order to earn a living. Why? God takes care of his own. Even while they sleep. This, this can be annoying to some people. What, what do you mean? Yes, God takes care of his own. His own means his beloved. Even while they sleep. Now, the truth is, you're the one that thinks they are sleeping. Because you don't know what they do with their time. The beloved of the Lord, they are always busy. Busy doing what? They're about their father's business. Oh, you don't understand. You know, now, people just think that work is... Because now, now, some people don't realize this. People think work is, is all about um, going, applying for a job. Get, or going to buy something to sell. You must be offering something for somebody to be paying for. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. How about you offering something to God for him to pay you for it? Huh? What can that be? Oh, oh. you get to this organization. Listen, children of God, be wise. I'm, I'm, I'm calling you to be wise spiritual. You see that organization and you trust them enough. So you write to them and say, hey, I want this position in your organization. And then you're, you're willing, excuse me. And then you are willing to give them 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. of your time every day of the week, sometimes even weekends. And then in turn, at the end of the month, they give you 
this amount of money. All right, so now you agree with them and they start you from the first day of the month. They don't give you any money on the first day of the month. You get, give that to them from the first till the end of the month. And then in the end of it, you believe in them so much that they are going to pay you because you've done your part, right? You believe them. Now, I'm saying to you, you can actually believe God and say, Lord, I just want to work for you this month. I want to work for you. I want to see how you pay. <laughs> I want to work for you. So, so this, this is what I'm going to do. I'm making myself available to you. Tell me what you will have me do. Because that's what you do to that organization. You get there on the first day of the job. They said, okay, this is what we are doing. We need you to go to Susan's place and take care of this force, take care of this one. Oh, thank you very much. You don't get there and say, hey, I've come to work and... I'm a trained, so this is what I want to do. So if you guys can give me that to do, then I know I've worked. No, no, no. You get there and they tell you, oh, this is what we want you to do today. Okay, thank you. And you go do it. All right? So you go to God. So what, Lord, what would you have me do today? And the Lord says, son, take the next 30 minutes and pray for so so and so person. Okay, I'll pray. And then you begin to pray. Now, nobody sees the work that you're doing. They all think you stay at home all day. And then the Lord says to you, I want you to go see so so and so person and encourage that person for me. And then you go. You are walking. You are walking. And, and he, he says, my yoke is easy. And my body is light. That's what he said. He's not going to stress you out like they stress you in that organization. Now that's why he said, that one gives you bread of sorrow. But he takes care of you. Can you trust the Lord? That's what I'm saying. Forget. Listen. Listen. Now you may be walking already. I'm not saying go resign, except the Lord tells you to do so. And you will know if he tells you to do so. But guess what? Put, take your mind off that pay and put your mind on the Lord. That's what I'm telling you. Your life should be far better than what you earn every month. Yes. What do you want to have? Sometimes you're locked up thinking, I need to save for this number of months. Before, hey, hey, stop that, stop that. You are living your life under that bondage of, of, of bread of soul. Get out of it. Believe God for better things. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Our time is up. <laughs> oh, Father, let the display of your love fill the heart of everyone who's watching me right now. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.